This is Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Thank you so much for joining us today for Live with Annie. As usual, we've started the stream a bit early. This helps us get everything set up and broadcasting properly to our various platforms. You can find a countdown clock on the screen showing how long it will be until we actually go live. While you wait, please connect with us and other viewers in the chat. Let us know where you are from and whether you're a new or longtime viewer. We'll see you live soon. again for joining us for Live with Annie. We are so happy to have you with us today. While you wait for the program to start, we hope you'll enjoy the content playing on screen. There's so much inspiration, so take a moment to tell us what you love in the chat. Don't forget there is a countdown clock on the screen so you know how long until we go live.
Hi, it's Annie again reminding you that we'll be going live with this week's episode shortly. There is a countdown clock on the screen showing how much time is left. You've got just enough time to grab some water or a beverage of your choice and a snack and to connect with us in the chat. We'd love to hear what you've been working on this week. It's Annie, back to remind you that we'll be starting this week's live very shortly. We've got a really fun episode planned for today, and we'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Thank you so much for joining us for Episode 20 of Season 3 of Live with Annie. We have an extra special Live with Annie today as we've got special guests from Sew Tights here to announce a new product that's sure to be a game changer for the sewing and quilting industry. Anyone who has struggled with slipping while cutting, who wants more accurate cuts for all types of materials, or who simply needs cutting to be easier will be thrilled to learn about this amazing new product, so stay tuned. Whether this is your first time joining us or if you've caught all 120 episodes, we welcome you to our community. We know there are so many things you could be doing with this time and we always appreciate it when you make the time to be with us. If you enjoy these episodes, please take a minute to follow us wherever you are watching. And if you know someone else who you think might enjoy the information that we share, we would love it if you'd tell them about Live with Annie too. The easiest way to do that is to just tag them while you're watching. That will take them directly to the episode so they can watch it too. Also, we love reading your comments, so be sure to interact with us throughout this presentation. Tell us what you think about what we're showing, share your tips and tricks, and tell us the projects you're working on. We want to know what you think and we love learning from you too. Also, be sure to add any questions you might have in the comments or chat and we will do our best to answer them before we close. Last week we had a delightful visit with Renee Merrill of Free Motion Mastery in a Month. 
I loved Renee's excitement and really appreciated all her fabulous tips for finding the right stitch length, speed, rhythm, and more. Her simple step-by-step -step learning system will be so helpful for anyone who wants to improve their free motion quilting skills. If you missed last week's episode or you want to watch it again, remember that you can find all the previous 120 episodes of Live with Annie on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or at byannie.com. And Jake's got all the links up so you can find them easily. All right, quick drink of water. I wasn't centered, so get me in there. All right, so as I said, we are really excited today to welcome our friends from Sew Tights to the video studio. They came all the way from Canada, Montana, and Northern Utah to be with us today. I know you are going to love meeting these ladies and learning about their products. I first met Jamie and Jessica at Quilt Market several years ago when they introduced their Sew Tight magnetic pins. So we have been, they have been so responsive to customers' requests, including ours, and we have loved watching their business grow and using their so tight HD magnets when we work with thick layers or vinyl or other items that can't be pinned. So when they reached out to tell me about a brand new product that they'll be releasing soon, I asked if they'd like to come tell all of you about it too. So joining me today are sisters, best friends and the creators of Sew Tight's Magnetic Sewing Pins, Jessica Drain and Jamie Trenier. Also joining them is Suzanne Mann, the innovator of their upcoming new project. We're going to go have a visit. Move my magnets so they're not in the way. How am I going to get over here? All right, so you may notice that our set looks a little bit different in this corner. We, um, we have never had live guests here, so <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming. It motivated us to get a little paneling up on the walls, get a rug, get some furniture. So we are all set to, um, to have company. So look for more uh, live visitors hopefully coming soon. So before we get started, I would really like it if each of you would tell us a little bit about yourself. And I'm going to start with Jamie. I understand that your first career was in, in the oil and gas industry and that now you own a quilt shop. So wow, lots of, <laughs> lots of difference there. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into that. Yeah, well th thank you for having us. We were super excited to be t here today. Um, so we come from a long line of quilters. Our great grandmother, both the great, all the great grandmothers were quilters. Our mom, our grandma, we grew up watching our mom make ha Halloween costumes and Christmas pajamas. Our grandma always made us matching super girly outfits. <laughs> you were once. <laughs> that our mom would take a picture with and then we would take them off. <laughs> yep. yep. I started quilting in college. I made a king size log cabin quilt for my now husband was my first project wow. out of flannel. Were you engaged at the time? Or? No. No. Did no. you win his heart over with the quilt? I'm not sure that did it. but <laughs> <laughs> I think it was because actually um, we got engaged the weekend that I gave it to him, but I didn't give it to him till after we got engaged. Oh, nice. Anyway, nice. yes. But I was, I was an engineer in oil and gas for 13 years. And while on maternity leave with our oldest son, the idea came to me to, that I wanted, decided I wanted to have my own shop. But the timing was never right, so we never did anything about it. Then April of 2021, I was working on a quilt, needed some gray fabric, and I had this one store in mind. Like, if I was going to own one, I'd buy that one. And I told my husband before I left for the store, I'm just going to ask her. And so I walked into the store, and I asked her what her succession plan was, and she said, you. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so um, I walked in for gray fabric and walked out with the whole store. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a good story. <laughs> um, and, and that had to be kind of a shock to your husband when you got home and said, guess what, honey? <laughs> well, I said, I said, well, you know, like, we have to evaluate. That was a big part of my job was evaluating 
uh, businesses for acquisition. So I was like, we have to evaluate it. We have to look at the numbers, you know, the engineer and me. And so, you know, we did. And, and here you are. And here we are. It's called Out of Hand in Calgary. Um, we're out of hand quilting on all the socials. And every Thursday, our social media maven, Leslie, and I do a f Instagram, Facebook, YouTube <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> live. And we talk about all the new stuff in the store and new stuff in our lives. And like, I don't know, we get pretty I silly. I bet it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yes. it is fun. Yeah. We get pretty silly. So yeah, and my husband, we just live in Calgary with our two boys and a crazy lab named Maggie Mayhem. And <laughs> I love it. How old are your boys? Seven and nine. Oh, and perfect age. Yeah, they're into hockey, true Canadian boys, so we spend a lot of time at the rink and and camp and ski and stuff like that. So that's awesome. outside stuff. But yeah. That's that's great. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I I think Canada is just amazing. We almost moved to Canada several times over the years. My husband loved anywhere that was out of you know, out of the range and out in the country. And so we owned property in British Columbia a couple of times. Um, I always said I would love to live in Canada, but I'm not sure I could do the winters anymore. No, it is, <laughs> I'm melting. It is so hot here. <laughs> yeah, we have had a cool spring, believe it or not, but this week we have temperatures in the high 90s and our room here, we can't have the air conditioner on because it gets it's too much noise. So these girls are, are <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. but we're, we're, we're having great fun. So I, I hope to make it to Canada some, someday to visit your yes. shop. I would really enjoy that. And let's move on now to um, Jessica who you live in Montana. Yes. And from what I understand, Montana is where everybody started out, right? Yes, correct. So tell us a little bit yeah. about you and, and, yeah, and your so life. Yeah, we so we, we uh, were born and raised in Montana. I've lived there my whole life. I'm the only child of four that stayed there and everyone <laughs> else uh, left. Um, so I'm my background is I'm a marketer and graphic designer. I've been helping businesses brand and market themselves for, you know, their, you know, my entire career. Um, I we I do share this a lot, but I kind of say it's our secret that I don't sew a whole lot. But I did make some stockings for my family this past year, and so that was really fun. I kind of altered the pattern, made it my own, and I really love to do hand uh, hand drawing drawn letters, and I did that for the stockings, and then I had them puff embroidered. So I love the way they they turned out. Um, and yeah, I live in Billings, Montana, and I have two boys and. Yes. And how old are your boys? They are uh, nine and twelve. So fairly 11. close. Do the cousins get together very yeah. often? Yeah, yeah, as much as we can. Can yeah. yeah. I bet they have a great time. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome. I have two grandsons, one who's eight and one who's five, and and we had our first real time together this past winter and it was so much fun. I'm, yes. I'm looking forward to in a couple of years being able to have both of them just come and stay for a while and, yes, and yeah. be together. It's, yeah. You can't beat that. Did I understand that you're also taking flying lessons? Oh yes, yes, also that. <laughs> um, I am working on my private pilot's license. I've been working on it for I think three years already. <laughs> uh, so going on four and it's definitely a process between uh, running a business, running household, kids, all of that, but I'm getting there slowly but surely, and um, I hope to finish it this year. We'll see, so, yeah. That'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. My When we lived in Alaska, having a plane was like having a car. You had, you had to have that. So my husband got his pilot's license when, right after my son was born. We went to Colorado, and he did the training then, and he actually bought an airplane before he took lessons because he didn't want to have to pay to rent an airplane. So he brought, bought a tail dragger. Mm -hmm. And the first day he came home and was just white as a sheet. And like, I have made the biggest mistake because he said the, the instructor said, flying a tail dragger is like riding a bicycle with your legs crossed backwards <laughs> and you know it took yes. a while to get the feeling for that my instructor our did. dad is a private pilot too and has tail draggers and my instructor is licensed to train in, in a tail dragger as well and he said there are people two kinds of pilots ones that get in and try to be a tail dragger or try to fly a tail dragger and those who do it again <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i don't I, if he hadn't already bought the plane he never would have done it again yeah. i don't think and i always said i would not feel comfortable flying with him until i 
you know, could at least know how to land a plane, but I never learned, and, and we flew that plane lots and lots, but when yeah. you've got little kids and all that stuff, you don't have time to no, learn how to fly, busy, too, yeah. so yeah. I'm impressed, and good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Suzanne, let's tell you about you. So you live in northern Utah. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about where you are and what your background is. Okay, I live in Highland, Utah, which is almost in the middle. We. Um, we moved there 20 years ago. We've lived all over the country. When we got married, we started to, you know, my husband would change jobs and and we just lived east coast, west coast, and then we landed in Utah. So and we're Utah, here to stay. Here yeah. to stay, yeah. 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 I feel the same so, way. There's yeah. a, it's a special place. It is, yeah. and we just, we love it. Um, so. Are you a quilter? About me. I do quilt, but I do all the other things too. Such I can as so well anything really, but I love to just make up patterns. Nice. Yeah. If if I want something, I'm like, well, I'm not going to buy that. I could just do it, and then I'll just make it. And I did. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot of doll patterns for like 14 inch dolls. Ah. The actual clothes. doll or clothes? The clothes. Clothes. Mm -hmm. Nice. So oh, that's a, a smart idea. Yeah. Yeah. And that's. Fun. Do you sell those patterns? I have. I have a few patterns that are ready, you know, that have been out there. Uh -huh. um, it's more work to write a pattern than to just make it. Like, <laughs> you do it and everybody's like, oh, I'd like the pattern. And you're like, no, you don't. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's so much work. Like, no, not. yeah, I don't it's think so much people work. realize how much is involved in writing a pattern and fine tuning oh, it and especially so, much so that someone else can understand what you're saying yep, yep, and yep. it's a constantly evolving process we yeah. we do the same thing it's yeah. like you know we start on a on a pattern and before we're done we've got to pile this high of all the iterations it's gone yeah. through and uh, it's and, so much and then you just hope someone else understands what you're writing about <laughs> <laughs> so. and then you look at it later and there's a mistake you're like oh, oh how did we yeah, all miss that, that. Yep, yep. Yep. well yeah. i am looking forward to hearing more about you and okay. and how you Thanks. play into this new product announcement this is very so. exciting for us yes. because we have never met until today in person yeah. so yep. thank you for really having us well, yes. very, i'm very so fun. glad to be able to help bring you all together <laughs> yeah. i know when jessica said she wanted to come it come and it was like that's fabulous and then I, I understand that you said well I'm coming too <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed she couldn't because she's very busy at the shop yeah. and so I just thought I was like is it okay if I spend the money to go down to Utah because we you know talk wanna, about those talk things. about those kinds of things since we're in business together and she was like well I want to come. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just worked so, perfect yeah, to yeah. have Suzanne come down too. So yeah. that's awesome. All right. Okay. So before we get to this new product announcement, I want to hear, I want you to tell everybody a little bit more if someone's not familiar with Awesome So Tights Magnets. Tell a little bit about the story of how that got started and some of your products and that information. Yeah. So um, we originally were a different business. We were a fabric subscription box initially. And we did kit bags initially as well. And Jamie was making a bag one day to do kind of a tutorial for the people who bought the box. And she was sewing a leather handle on a bag and of course couldn't pin it and couldn't put a clip on it because it's away from an edge. So she used some magnets and she just, I don't know. I mean, well, she was really proud of herself. She was like, <laughs> look at what I, the, the idea I just had. Look, and I, she said, there's nothing else that does this. You know, I can't find it. and like that's a really good idea some other people you know probably have the same problem but we were busy working on that business so we focused on it for about a year but then in 2018 early 2018 we're getting ready to go to quilt con in Pasadena and we wanted to have something to hand out in the booth to people to get them to talk to us <laughs> about our subscription box and I think it was me I don't know if it was me one of us said um, how about we see if this like we take prototypes of this idea to the thing and hand them out for free to people and see what they think. And so we did, that was like a month before QuiltCon. We quick and brainstormed a name and made up some little business cards and uh, a gal that worked for us at, a at the time, who's a friend of ours, Susie, we drove down to Pasadena. We'll never drive to a show again. <laughs> it was, the roads were closed through, like it was so bad. But Yeah, because that was in February, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was really we cold too. that year. That might be where I first met you, not at market. Yeah, it yeah. might have been, yeah. yeah. And so 
we had little prototypes on business cards, handed them out for free, and I, we ran out. I think we had either a thousand or fifteen hundred, and we ran out in like a day and a half. Because and people would bring their friends back, and at at the time it was just for bag making, you know, um, that's the the idea. And so we were like, oh, this is a good idea, apparently. <laughs> so we went home. I. Like I said, throw it up, threw up a website. We had our first production run made. And at the time we hadn't really even thought about retailing them like through to quilt shops. We didn't really understand it was that good of an idea. Um, and um, in August, we started getting calls from distributors to us asking to stock the product. And we were like, oh, okay, <laughs> here we go. I guess we've got a business. <laughs> yeah. So I, I didn't even have the UPC codes on them yet, but I mean, that's my background. That's what I did. So I made them retail shelf ready. Um, that weekend, and then we were being carried by most distributors by the um, week. by the market by oh. market time, and then we've just had other you know customers, industry friends introduce you know new ideas, using them for English paper piecing, ask for different strengths or sizes. That's where like the magnums, which are used for long arm quilting, um, came to be, and so then yeah, here we are. Here you are. Well, that's. <laughs> That's such a great story, and it's so fun to know that you guys can do this together as a as a mm -hmm. team. You know that mm -hmm. you each took the skills that you have and brought them together to make such a good business. So that was my next question: is you know I have Casey and Glow here, which is awesome, but they're in house and they live five minutes away from me. <laughs> How do you make this work as a business when you're in partnership like that? When one is in Canada and one's in Montana, you know, how do you decide who does what? How do you decide? How do you brainstorm ideas? How do you strategize? Do you get together in person regularly, or is this um, unusual? Well, I mean, we text a lot. <laughs> 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 um, we also have for so tights. We have. A meeting once a week so it's on the calendar it happens and since now more people join our team then everybody kind of stays in the loop before our standing meeting I don't know we would just it was like we would just and weekends call each other or text whenever we could um, and then the division of labor kind of happened organically because I was doing the spreadsheeting and the numbers and Jessica was doing the design I was taking care of the manufacturing at that time and you know the shipping and although they did mostly the shipping but um and then once it got here then Jessica kind of took over we at the time we had a fulfillment center mm -hmm. and so Jessica did that part then I bought the store and I came up <laughs> really poor business partner. <laughs> and, I can only um, imagine. <laughs> so now we have the So Tights meeting on Tuesdays and then our, cause she does all of the marketing for the store. So we have another meeting on Fridays and it is, is usually both. Cause yeah, we talk about both businesses. Both things, yes. both Whatever things you need to do. To and then now Jessica has taken over I've become a everything. <laughs> <laughs> now she. So she's, are you the one who does all the ordering then? Yeah, and I do all the product development, ordering, design, yeah. marketing. We have now um, we have teammates. We did move away from a fulfillment center. We decided we wanted more control on that. So we have a gal who um, Ashley is her name fulfills orders for us. Susie did it for a while, um, and then. We have a gal named Tara too, who does, does, I don't love social media. I'm not a great social media person. And so she manages um, our social media, does our emails and stuff. And kind of, we're trying, you know, we're still young. So we're trying to get more and more strategic and intentional with what we do. So, yeah. That's fabulous. Yeah. Well, it's really, really awesome. So it sounds like you've got a good system worked out between you as far as who does stuff. <laughs> and working with family, you just can't beat it. I know how much I depend on Casey and Glow, how happy I am to know that they're here. And, you know, I know they always have my back. Right. Yes. And they will also tell me like it is. Right, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glow and I get in some knockdown dry out fights every once in a while, but we <laughs> still are friends. <laughs> <laughs> and we love each other a lot. So it's yeah, awesome. It's when you can make that work. It's been great. It's been kind of, we call it our magical little journey. You know, it's been great. We've gotten closer because, you know, she is, we're eight hours away from each other. And so it's allowed us to, well, we're constantly talking about work, but we also then are catching up about our personal lives right. more and things like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And boy, it's not going to be long before you're going to have four strong young men ready to right. <laughs> to help do all kinds of stuff too. Yeah. So do, are they involved in the business, your kids at all? No. No. I mean, they know what we do, do kind of, but yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, not really. 
Yeah. yeah. My grandson loves to sew, and he's already developed a couple of patterns. So one of these days, I'm mm. going to have him come on and oh, and, and show fun. his patterns that oh. he's made because he's great. very, very, very proud of them. Yeah. He needs great. to learn a few more skills for finishing edges. <laughs> <first>. <laughs> but, but you know, it, it will come. Yeah. yeah. He's getting there. <laughs> So, all right, so as I hinted earlier, you have got a brand new system um, that you, or product that you're going to talk about. I think it's going to be a game changer for anybody who cuts and sews. So I'm just gonna turn it over to you guys to talk more about that, yeah. how it came about and what it is. So, I mean, just like with all of our other products, we've had customers come to us and say like, you should make X, Y, Z, or, you know, so they would say, um, you should make a mat that's, you know, Magnetic, so I can use the sew tights to hold down, um, to hold down my pattern pieces, like for garment sewing, because I kind of already do that. People are using, you know, we're using the back part of the sew tight and then holding it down on their fabric to keep their patterns, you know, kind of like pattern weights. Um, and so I, we started researching it, you know, to manufacture it, and every avenue we went down, we kind of kept running into roadblocks of getting it produced. And then somehow I found out that it was patented. And um, like I had a somehow, I, I don't remember exactly how, but we found out that it was a patented idea, which I kind of hadn't thought about that concept. Cause the first we were just talking about doing a mat. Um, and then we had our attorney research it and sure enough, it was patented. <laughs> and we were kind of, you know, it was a little bit like disheartening at first. Cause it was like, dang it, you know, that is such a great idea. We'd love to do that. And our attorney said, well, why don't you just try to reach out to this person? And it was Suzanne <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, to see if she would work with you. And like, cause you could get the rights to still manufacture it. And I mean, we were just kind of like, well, what do we have to lose, you know? <laughs> so um, I emailed her at first and I didn't hear back for, I think I waited about a week. And so of course, in my mind, I'm just thinking she hates me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, go eat she dirt me, or something, yeah. you know? She wants me to fall off the face of yeah. the earth. <laughs> but I figured I'll try. I got. A, I found a phone number. And um, so then I called her and she answered and she was kind of like, hello? You know, I, I'm pretty sure I thought I was a spammer. <laughs> and I'm like, hi, my name's Jessica. I'm, I own a company named So Tights and blah, 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 you know, like blubbering on it, <laughs> trying to get it. Cause I'm like, she's gonna hang up on me at any moment. <laughs> um, and she just, she did listen. She w was curious and was able to, you know, was curious enough to not hang up the phone. <laughs> and then once she kind of grasped what I was saying, I think she was said something like, oh my gosh, you're an answer to prayer. And I was like, well, good. <laughs> so she said, I need to talk to my husband. Let's set up a meeting. And, you know, we kind of went from there and, um, you know, worked out an agreement. And so here we are, we have this new product to announce. And um, I think it's also, I would really love for Suzanne to share kind of how she came up with it, you know, how she thought of the idea and tell yeah, us a little yeah. bit about that. Well, I, not like you, I didn't use magnets for sewing at all. And so I I didn't even have clips. I'm just pinner, you know. I'm like, oh, you don't need to spend money. You just pin it, you know. Um, but one day I was making something for a friend and it was really short notice and it was late at night and I was like, oh. And I looked at my sewing machine and the table and I'm like, there's nowhere to, to land. It was just like, ah, I've already got projects and this is just one little bag and I'll just, so I looked around and I'm like, oh, the file cabinet. And so I put my cutting mat on the file cabinet and then I had, it was denim and I had a bolt of denim. Now, denim's usually very expensive, but it was a dollar a yard. Wow. And so you have to buy the whole bolt. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had this whole bolt and I was trying to cut it and it was just falling off of the file cabinet wasn't very big, right? And so I was like frustrated and I was like, I just want to, I just want to hurry and get to bed. And so I reached down and there were magnets on the side of the file cabinet with my grandkids pictures, you know, and I just threw it on there and I'm like, stay put. Like I, yelled at it that, and just said stop it you know and then I went oh my word like it just it worked it and it was through the denim and through the cutting mat to the 
To the filing cabinet. To the filing cabinet, to the metal. Huh? And I went, and you know like the cartoons where there's a light bulb above <laughs> someone's head? That's how it felt. I was like, oh my word. And so I went in, I'm like, honey, I have an idea. <laughs> and he's like, huh? And he didn't understand it. And I'm like, look, 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 look. Like, and I brought him in, I'm showing him. And I'm like, this is, this is really cool. Like, this will be amazing. Yeah. And I have to do this. And he goes, okay, do it. And so I, the next day I called around and I actually had prototypes made within a week. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. And I um, had the whole thing all, it, it worked. It was really cool. It worked. And I, um, I was like, okay, let's call the patent attorney. And so we found a patent attorney and were you we in filed. Utah at that time? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. And so we we filed, and it's so funny because every person has said, in not a sewer, but in like attorneys or people I've talked to in the manufacturing world, they always say, "Isn't this already out there?" <laughs> like it, it just baffles them because it's so simple and so so common sense. Yeah, it just it. is yeah. like mm -hmm. really no one's done no this one's before? done this yet. <laughs> and they've searched. You know, the attorney made sure that it wasn't out there in the patent or that it was even patentable because every part of it is already in existence: magnets and a cutting mat and a ruler. Like you can't patent those things, but it's how they work together. Mm -hmm. That's what you were able to patent. Uh -huh. Is so that it's a utility patent? It's not. The ruler Product is nothing yeah. special. It's just the way you use it together. Use it. Wow. And so, so yeah. what is Will the you process for doing that? Do you just fill out a ton of paperwork <laughs> and tell them everything no, you know? You just have no money left. <laughs> 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 you're, yeah. you're just hoping, you know, you just jump. Um, it was a lot of time to get the research and to file, and then there's a you know, they kind of think about it, and then the patent office comes back, and they're like, well, you can have this, but you have to split it in half. And we're like, what do you mean? Because there were so many points, and you can only have so many. And so then we had to split it in half and only pick half of it. And then the attorney's like, well, you still need the other half because this won't work. The system won't work. Like, you're not safe. Uh -huh. And so then we have actually two patents. Really? And wow. And it took a long, years. 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 And, and tons of money. Thousands. Yes. Yeah. I can, <laughs> even, I can we just, just imagine. We used to keep track. And then with all the prototypes and all the attorney fees and all the things, you know, you keep track. And and I'm not a numbers, for, I, I'm not like you guys. Like, I don't do that. <laughs> and it's so good and to keep track. And then it was track. pretty soon, I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. And then the attorney calls and he's like, I ha how are you doing? I'm like, no, 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 don't, don't ask me how I am because the timer's going. Like, <laughs> so every because five a seconds is and money. And a patent only lasts for a certain period of time from what I understand, right? Yeah, and so years, it's a 20, 20 year. Years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're still good. And then you can um, refile, I'm not sure the word of it, but you can... Renew it. Renew probably. it, yeah. Got yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so when active. she called you, <laughs> I bet that was like, oh good, I, somebody can take over that part. I huh? really don't even remember what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I And I'm I'm fairly nice. Like when someone calls, I'm like, hey, you know, like I'm not going to just hang up on her. And I know yeah. she was sort of, and then, uh, and, and after she started to explain why she's calling, I'm like, wait a minute, you found me. Like you found us and this, I can't even believe it. Like. I was probably not even talking, and I usually <laughs> talk a lot, but I was just stunned, and and it really was an answer to prayer because we had hit so many roadblocks and just could not get it out there. And I had, when I made the first prototype, then I went and made it prettier and made six and gave them to my friends who are really good sewers, all uh -huh. different kinds, like heirloom sewing, garment clothing, and quilters, and um, crafters and I said please try this and let me know and they were like I need this I like, need this everybody doesn't know but they need it yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just don't know that they need it right, right. yeah, yeah. Right. and the one friend she was the most excited and she said this will revolutionize the sewing industry yeah and that was her I will never forget that because I wasn't sure I loved it and I use it every time I sew. there's not anything I've made since I invented it 
that I haven't used, used it, it for. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, every time. I think that is high praise. And, <laughs> you know, when we came out with Soft and Stable, it was kind of the same thing. People, yeah. because they didn't have to fuse tons of interfacings and they didn't have to, you know, try and get their purse to stand up. And I had yeah. people say, this is this revolutionized bag making. Yeah. And so, so you hey, got that we're revolutionists. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. All right. So on that note, tell us about this. Tell us and show us how it works. So it's a magnetic cutting system. And um, so if you struggle with slipping when you're cutting, if you have mobility issues and can't you know, put the pressure you need to keep the ruler from slipping as you cut, a way, if you want a way to cut out paper and templates without pins, it's great for that. Or you know, ergonom- ergonomically, it's just easier. Um, I'm pretty sure I forgot some stuff because she's giving me the eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, but maybe we should just go see it. Let's do. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> I'm not going to miss out on the fun. So, hey, I'm going to trade with you guys, though. I'm going to put you in the middle and me way over here. So I'm not in the okay. way. Okay. <laughs> So, sorry, I need to hold up, hold up. Oh, water down. Or oh, the water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the mat. It's you know seven layers of healing goodness. <laughs> Two sided, the gray side, and the well, it's upside down. The light gray side. So for whatever you're working on, you can choose the color or to make your Instagram look good <laughs> all that there we go and it's seven layers on each side seven layers on each side I'll get to these in a minute and then oh hang on see I'm getting <laughs> and it's <laughs> so it's 20 our we decided to make our mat 20 inches by 24 because we wanted to be able to fit a full fat quarter without going into the margins. So that's why we chose this size to start with. Any any additions? And yes, we are going to make different, more and different size mats. This is just our first um, first size. It's portable, um, but still big enough to do things on. Perfect size for taking to class. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then the the ruler that comes with, so this all comes as a set. You get the mat, the ruler, and then the boosters, which I'll talk about in a second all in one pretty box that is reusable. So the ruler is six by 24 and a half. The hole markings are in black. Six and a half by 24. (laughs) (laughs) She got the half, just the wrong size. (laughs) Yes, six by 24 and a half. I was worried about the colors, so I was already thinking about the colors instead of the numbers. So um, the hole markings are in black. And then the half markings are in the teal. So just, you know, you choose whichever. This way you're working in whole numbers, flip it around, then you're working in half. Mm -hmm. Ah, Magnets run down the center. And then we beveled the edge too, which, um, so when it's down and you need to slightly move it, you can just get your fingers under there. And then also, if you ever struggle to get the ruler off the mat, you know, you always have to find like the hanging hole. Yeah, yeah. But now you just have, Get you your fingers lift under it up the bevel. Right there. Nice. Um, and it's a little thicker than a normal ruler, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, um, yeah, so the the rulers are in the mat. <laughs> Magnets are in the ruler and it sticks. And then also in the box are what we call boosters. So these little cylindrical magnets. And you put them, snap them on the magnets that are in the ruler. And magnets are a pretty cool thing because magnet plus a magnet equals a stronger magnet. So if you need additional strength, like for soft and stable or thick things, you add some and it adds strength. And you can make micro adjustments too if you need to. Mm-hmm. That's so, yeah. so cool. Yeah. And we are, um, we have two different sets. There's a right, I mean like the, the right-handed set and then we are making a true left-handed set as well. So the mat even is left-handed. So um, basically, it's just the mirror image of what it is for right-handed people um, so that the numbers are just flipped to the order. So it's easier, you know, a lot of lefties are used to flipping everything in their mind, um, but Jamie has a resident lefty at her shop 
and she has used, or, you know, has demoed it, and she just loves it. Um, it makes it just that much easier because you just have to do a little bit less thinking in your mind. Switching it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You learn, I mean, you learn to do that math, like, in, I need a two inch, well, I've got it turned the wrong way, so I got to cut on the four inch line. But right. to not have to do that right. is right. yep. going to save just a lot of brain power for other things that yes. you need to use it for. Yep. And when yep. you get my age, it's, you know, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what I love, though, is the fact that it's going to hold things in place. So show us how it works. Yeah, so this is a full fat quarter. So you can just kind of see there that you can see plenty all around. Plenty of room. Plenty you of room. You can see all the lines. Nice. And then um, what should we start with? Do you want to... Sure. You want to cut? I haven't actually tried this yet, so I'll be your first skinny pig. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to cut the selvage off to start with. And this is amazing how that magnet just kind of is there. I can move it if I need to, but I feel like it's not going to be sliding all over. Right. I was diagnosed um, a couple weeks ago with frozen shoulder, which I'm not sure that's what it is because I can do that, but like that's as high as I can lift. So I've and I've been cutting up a storm, but it's hard for me a little bit with mm -hmm. that pain. So this, I think, is awesome because I can put my hand down on here and not have to put all that pressure from my shoulder down there. Mm -hmm. So put that down. I can still put my hand on there like usual. And then, yeah, just cut that. And no sliding at all. That's fabulous. Yeah, so you Easy. can shift it, as you can see. You still need a little pressure. It's just less. Less. So it's just you can cut less. more and faster. And so easier. if you want it to do, like, say here, I've got a piece of yardage, and I wanted to do, like, handles and straps, one thing that I run into is I've got the bigger piece of fabric, so that's nice having that width. But to be able to put this on, I'll usually cut the biggest piece I can and then subcut from that. So if I need, so I need five and a half inches. Oh, those numbers are super easy to see. Even on a dark fabric like that, boy, I can see those really easily through there. So what happens is I'll get one cut and then my ruler wiggles and I'm not sure that my next one's gonna be the right size. Right. So I should have squared that side up first. I'm gonna do that first. Then I'm gonna cut my five and a half. So I love that it's easy to turn, easy to work with. So I'm gonna square this side up to start with. Yeah, like no pressure and it stays there. All right. And it holds it in place when I turn it too, which is oh, nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So now I'm going to do five and a half. So easy. And then I'm going to do a two and three quarter. All right. So that's right there. Yep. <laughs> I have to get used to those numbers. I'm not used to that half inch edge. Wow, so nice. <laughs> wow, Thanks. that works <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> fabulous, fabulous. All right, show us some other things you can cut. Um, okay. So, you know, anything that's a little bit thicker, multiple layers. Um, what should we do? Maybe we should start. Oh, well, I already messed up the file, so. So Minky is a little shifty. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let Tracy hear you say that. <laughs> but you know, it tends to slip. Yep. So So this just holds it and keeps it in place. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so nice. <laughs> we should have a trash can, yeah, right there. And a night and we just we got a new blade too before we came in here. <laughs> so that is also nice. <laughs> nice. That's my public service announcement <laughs> for the day. I've been cutting up a storm lately and I thought my blade was fine, but I changed it. Oh my gosh. Huge difference having <laughs> a new blade. So don't wait too long. So then we have some of uh, your mesh here. Yes, and mesh is another shifty character. Mm -hmm. It likes to move. So then we'll put on some of these. And that uh like a little trick with the, the boosters is to have one off straddle the mat. to have one or just your your fabric just have Got it off it. a little bit too uh -huh. to give you a little bit more oh and the yeah. system comes with 12 of these magnets so it's there are six magnets on the ruler but they're also to use um, which we'll show for in a minute things for too. other things yeah mm -hmm. and then this is soft and stable with actually a, a 
heavyweight. In Essex on say. the back, yeah. and then they're in cotton. And again, but like for soft and stable, you need the boosters. Do you want that one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pretty expert soft and stable. I feather. bet. <laughs> so, so once you get the boosters on, that was my question is what do you do with your hand? So you could do your hand like this, you could do your hand like this, or you could just take one of these off. Yeah. However, yeah. whatever seems easiest. I'm going to try that. Yeah, again, no, no slipping, no moving, no nothing. That's fabulous. <laughs> If you want to do it, if you want to do like it, here. <laughs> <laughs> and yet it's still easy enough to maneuver. That was the one thing I was a little worried about when you told me is how much work is it going to be to reposition it if right. I need to? Because I, I do not use the lines on my mat. I use the lines on my ruler, and right. sometimes you just need to move it a little bit. But super simple, super easy to do. Let's, let's trim that little edge of soft and stable off that's sticking out there looking ugly. <laughs> <laughs> nice, super easy. Uh -huh. um, so then like leathers, corks, um, you wanna do some vinyl? Oh yeah. yeah. Vinyl's another one that a lot of times I will put the vinyl up and the paper down because the vinyl kind of sticks to my ruler, but then the, the, the paper wants to slide around. Right. So being able to have this to hold it, which that one you probably idea. don't even need the boosters on it. No, I wouldn't imagine. I love the name of boosters for these. Oh, we agonized over the name. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, super easy. Uh huh. Nice. Oh. Well, you know. Oh, I, didn't, <laughs> I don't think it might not have gone quite all the way through. Mm -hmm, I didn't push hard enough. Final is pretty thick. You have to press it's a little deceiving. bit deceiving. You think yes. it would be? You can't see it. It must not be there. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Then I think. So do then, you want to do this one? Yeah, like if you're cutting out, I can just do this. So then, if you um, if you do a lot of quilts with templates or garments, which do you want to start? We'll with? do either. So if you're doing garments, then you can use them as your... Or if you're doing clam up with the template that's in the pattern for that. Right. You can mm -hmm. Hold it in place. So nice. that would hold it in place as you cut around it. And then um, if you're using an acrylic template as well. Uh-huh. And the trick is to get them um, like in a almost in a square pattern. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Because? I don't know. Huh. <laughs> Magnets are kind of this weird, magical thing that yeah, you kind of don't really... Yeah, because if you just did th three, yeah. it doesn't It'll kinda It doesn't work nearly as well as, okay, oops, but as, as if, if you, you use do four. like that. How interesting. Mm -hmm. Magnets really are amazing. They're pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the polarity and all of that, they like our magnets that we sew into projects, you have to put them with the exact right size together or they're not nearly as strong. Right. And when you put them together with those sides, you can put them through a layer of soft and stable and fabric and everything and they, they're they still hard to get apart. So yeah. yeah. Magnets are amazing. I uh -huh. love Live magnetically. Yes, that's our <laughs> motto. So that's just absolutely fabulous. All right, so let's talk about if somebody wants one of these, because I know everybody's going to want one. Are they ready? Can people order them? Um, where can they get yeah, them at their local so stores? Yeah, so they are up for pre-sale on our website right now. Um, we, you also, if you're a shop owner, you can buy through them through Checker if you're in the United States or they ship internationally. But we also have um, distributors in Canada, Australia, and Europe. And then um, we do wholesale directly as well, which you can just contact us for. So the estimated ship date is September. We're just saying generally September. <laughs> they will be here and be shipping in September at some point. You know, That's um, fabulous. Yeah. And so people can go to your website and do a pre-order. Mm -hmm. Stores need to set up a wholesale account first? or For stores to buy uh, wholesale directly from us, they do just need to email us. That's our system currently. Um, you can just email info at sotights.com and then we'll get you set up with an account and get the order in and, and mm -hmm. reserve your quantity. Great. So, yeah. so you know at Biani we're all about supporting local quilt shops. So if you saw this today and this looks like something that you really want to do, make sure that you tell your local quilt shop to watch this episode so they can learn all about it and then to contact uh, Jessica and 
get an order placed. So yes. you're going to be yeah. one of the first ones to have them. All right, we're going to move on to a few questions here. Uh, it says, lots of love for sew tights, um, including Randy. She says she doesn't know how she would work with vinyl without <laughs> sew tights <laughs> magnets. And she always recommends them to, she does a lot of sew alongs, slow alongs, she calls them, because she spreads them out over several weeks. And yeah, they are amazing for when you're trying to do vinyl, because you just can't put a pin through it. It won't heal. So right. uh, we love those for that. One question was, will your scissors and pins stick to the mat? No. The mat itself is not magnetic. Uh -huh. It's um, only the magnets it's that are the magnetic. Mm -hmm. And the ruler. Yeah. Ah, perfect. So that's a good question. And then how durable is the mat? Will it eventually wear out like traditional cutting mats? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every self-healing mat on the market will wear out over time. We have many, you know, we tested it out um, and we've, you know, worked with it. We It's seven layers, so it's, it's the highest quality mat that there is that we can that we could um, source. So um, you know we do have recommendations for make sure that you extend the life of the mat as long as possible. Use sharp blades. Don't keep it in heat or extreme cold. Obviously you can't roll it up because it has metal inside of it. But keep it flat um, and cut on different lines, not on the same line repeatedly because that will wear it out faster. But um, yeah. So one thing that we talked about a little bit and that I've discovered is cutting curved lines. Like when you're rounding corners, sometimes those because they're going through the layer it differently. Those are, but usually they'll heal too. Just it just move needs it time. around, and yeah. it needs time. Yeah, because yeah, um, the stuff has to. Stick what about out. cleaning it? Do you have any just recommendations a damp cloth. for that? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. The next question was: Do you plan to make a rotating mat for squaring up blocks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, this is just the start, the start right? Yeah. Like, I mean, different sizes of mats, different sizes and shapes of rulers. You can, we're going to release the boosters where you can just buy packs of those if you need more than 12. Um, so, yes, this is a starter kit, kind of, and then we'll be expanding from there. If you have requests, recommendations for what you would like to see us do next, you can definitely... Uh, shoot us an email or send us a DM on social medias for kind of your vote of what you think would be best. But um, I've yeah. already put in an order for a 16 and a half inch square and a 20 and a half inch square <laughs> and a 24 by 36 inch mat. But yes. I know it will yeah. take a little while. But yeah. this is just super fabulous. So Thank you. I'm excited. so excited for you guys. I hope that all of you will um, check it out and, and get one ordered. I One thing that I did want to talk about before we go is as soon as Jessica told me about it, I said, oh, I said, I wonder if it will fit in our tools of the trade. And so I sent her the measurements and she said, oh man, I think it's just a little bit too big. And I, so I took one, she sent me the measurements and we measured the large tools of the trade and discovered that even though it says it won't fit, it actually does. <laughs> so, all right, I gotta zip this open. So if you are a person who likes to travel with your mat to class or retreats or things, um, know that you can actually put it in the tools of the trade. So this again is a full 24, so it's a little bit wider, but it fits just exactly between those sides. I mean, if you want it to do a little bit of customization, it wouldn't take much to make your tools of the trade even a half an inch wider. But this is a heavy mat. It's it heavy is, yeah. compared to a regular mat. So a bag like this to carry it in. It's also a little bit taller. You can see here, we were planning that your mat would end here. So this is maybe an inch taller. But when we closed it, and your ruler's going to fit perfectly right inside there too. So that fits in. But when we went to close it, let's zip her up. I've got a wool mat in there. We were just going to press this and we forgot to. So this has been folded up and it's got a wrinkle right here. But you can see the flap still covers it. It still connects. So you've got a perfect way to carry, carry your cutting it. system off to class. And, yeah. and there you go. Yes. Yeah. So cute. And it works perfectly. Mm -hmm. So so if you're so that's what you can do while you wait for your mat and stuff to come, you can order the tools of the trade pattern and get your, your and be making making it. that yep. so that when it comes you're all ready to go. Yes. So thank you guys so much for coming and sharing this information with us. 
it's just awesome to see. Well, well thank you so much us. for having us. Yeah, yeah, we've had a great time, and we're excited that we're your first in person in live. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, we'll do it again. Yeah. So the next time you have something new to announce, come see us. All we'll right, help you with good. it. Yeah. All, All right. right. Thank, thank you guys so much, and thank Bye. you, to Suzanne. It was yeah. really fun Thanks to meet you too and have you here with us. Yes. So I um, am again am is so excited oh. that they've got these available through the distributors. I know you're going to um, really enjoy using it. Don't forget that you can get it from Checker uh, if you're a store or set up a wholesale account for them and make sure you get that done. So um, these guys are taking off to, they came in to Vegas tonight. Um, so we're going to say goodbye to them. You guys don't have to leave, you can stick around. But now we're going to move on to our featured local quilt shop of the week. We want to make sure we get that done uh, before we close today. So as you know, we're all about supporting local quilt shops. And so each week we try to feature at least one or two local quilt shops around the world. So this week we are starting in O'Fallon, Missouri at Oh So Personal. And Kelly, who is the owner of the store, has a background in graphic design. And she says her favorite part of owning a quilt shop is being surrounded by beautiful fabrics and creative customers. So they have two 7,000 square foot stores, one in O'Fallon, Missouri, the other in Collinsville, Illinois, and they carry over 3,000 bolts of fabric in bright, bold colors. Both locations feature boutiques and the newest collections from many brands. In addition, the O'Fallon store carries Kansas Troubles and the Collinsville store carries Cape Facet collections. So two very different collections there. The store also carries Bernina, Janome, and Handy Quilter sewing machines and long arms, and they have many clubs and classes to inspire their customers. These include a bag of the month program at each shop where they teach customers how to make bags of all sizes. And for the past two years, they've presented a Facebook Live shop every Monday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. Kelly tells us that this, along with their free app for shopping, has been a huge success as it allows shoppers all over the U.S. to be part of the shop and the fun projects that they offer each week. Customers who voted for Oso oh Personal's two stores in this year's contest praised the store's service and selection. Regina listed what she appreciates, helpfulness, kindness, quality, variety, and most of all, their desire to make sure you are satisfied. Sandra added more to that list, saying lots of classes and live sales, exceptional sewing machine service and sales staff, very helpful employees, and when my new embroidered embroidery attachment malfunctioned just before Christmas, the stone store loaned me their demo model so I could finish my Christmas gifts while awaiting a replacement model. Boy, I need a drink. My lips are sticking together. <laughs> and Pamela said, the staff is very knowledgeable. I love the laughter in this shop and they are always willing to help. When asked about the impact of the LQS contest on the store, Kelly said, we love contests and we love Biani bags and notions. They make bag making a joy. It was so nice to be on the list of Biani customers and recognized as a shop that supports the product. Note that Oso oh Personal will have their Biani trunk show on display in the store from June 5th to July 5th. So be sure to stop in and check it out and tell the man he sent you. All right, next we are going to travel to Northeast Indiana to visit Quilts and Gifts LLC in Bluffton. This is about 20 minutes south of Fort Wayne. Store owner Mary Parada started sewing at the young age of six years old with her grandmother who was a designer and seamstress. Mary shared, my love of quilting started in 1978 when I took my first class with an amazing quilter, Lucy. We did everything by hand cutting, sewing, and quilting, and we made all of our templates with plastic or cereal boxes. I had to laugh at that because my first quilt was made about that time and I used a Pampers box for my templates. So I could relate to that. In about the mid-1980s, I bought my first quilting machine and fell in love with machine piecing. It was so much faster. As a stay-at-home mom, I did a lot of freelance work for craft magazines. I did quilting, counted cross-stitch, and crochet, but quilting has always been close to my heart, since the bond between Grandma and me is still very much of who I am and what I do. 
Our store opened in 2006 at 650 square feet. It was a small store, but it was my dream. We started with only about 200 bolts of fabrics and about 25 different patterns. 17 years later, our store is now 8,000 square feet with about 6,000 bolts of fabric and over 500 different patterns. Wow, they have grown. There are many different types, types of quilters and in order to serve them, we must have an array of different fabrics. We are a little bit country and a little bit rock and roll because we carry batiks, 30s fabrics, modern fabrics, Civil War fabrics, and so much more. We also carry creative grids rulers, Biani's patterns, counted cross stitch and wool, and a big variety of different notions. And we provide long arm services, both custom and edge to edge quilting. Quilts and Gifts has an active website and we do a live every Monday morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Or Eastern Standard Time, I'm sure, if it's that time of year. Good customer service is our number one priority. Upcoming events include a Biani trunk show, which will be on display from June 12th to July 15th, as well as a Christmas in July retreat and a fall harvest shop hop. When asked about the store staff, Mary wrote, Julie is our right hand at the store. She is amazing. She takes wonderful care of our customers, is bus mom for our bus hop, helps order fabrics and patterns, and is an overall wonderful person. Customers who voted for quilts and gifts in this year's contest praise, praise the store's selection, service, and staff. Vivian wrote, the staff is always very friendly and helpful. Quality, quantity, and diversity of fabric and notions is wonderful, and they have a classroom with great lighting and setup. Mary allows the thirsty girls to meet, sew, and socialize twice a month at no charge. Through this group, I have met new friends and learned a number of new skills. Our group is growing as ladies poke their heads in due to the laughter coming from the classroom. One woman was amazed that she was invited to join and there were no rules other than come and enjoy. The group is more than a quilting group as knitters, crocheters, and all hand workers are encouraged to join. And Susan shared, it is a large store with an open layout and hundreds of bolts. The owner, Mary, and her employees are friendly and very helpful. They make you feel like a valued customer. And Kay agreed, saying, Mary is always ready to answer questions, assist with fabric selection, and has a wonderful array of fabrics. We are so blessed to have such a top-notch quilting store in Bluffton. Mary told us that the impact of the LQS contest on the store has been amazing. She said it has spread the knowledge in our of the knowledge of our store among quilters around the U.S. I loved hearing that and wish Mary and Julie and everyone at Quilts and Gifts continued growth and success. So thank you again to everyone who joined us today. We are still in crunch mode here trying to get ready for the H&H &H America show which begins two weeks from tomorrow. Um, we are going to take a little break to continue working on patterns, videos, and more, and to attend the show. So we had originally thought we would be back um, the last week in June, but I think we're going to need that week to keep filming because Jake has taken next week off to take a little vacation. So we are not going to be back until whatever the first um, Wednesday is in July. I forgot to look at the calendar. I'm thinking that's probably the 5th or the 6th. And I don't even know at this point what I'm going to talk about that week. So if you have any ideas, shoot us an email um, at info at And until then, happy stitching.